Hey everybody, today we're going to go ahead and download a aircraft livery for the F-35 um, from flightsim.to and when you download these files they're going to be in compressed folders either zipped or tarred or 7z or however they're compressed because they had to be compressed to save space. So we went ahead, we clicked the link, it's starting to download and it is going to download to my downloads folder and I use 7-zip so once I download it I'm going to scan it with Norton antivirus and then I'm going to use 7-zip to unzip the archive and you'll see that in a second because there's actually in some of my skins I put a readme file in there there's the compressed folder we take it we scan it with Norton antivirus and then I create a new folder to decompress it in because I just don't want it anywhere in my downloads folder it could be huge um, I want to contain it so I create a folder call it that I take the zip file drag it over go into the new folder I open it with 7-zip now extract it there and it extracts the folder now there's the folder that was extracted and I just double clicked it to get to the actual livery which is inside of it so if you saw that there's an actual folder with inside the zip folder and you want to go here and here's the path to your uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator community folder um, if you use Steam it's C users your username Microsoft Flight Simulator packages you can go ahead and look at the link again packages community and I don't have the F-35 installed um, I uninstalled it and I am reinstalling the file that I just downloaded from flightsim.to. There it is. I have my two windows open. I can see that it's not in my folder. It's not anywhere in my community folder. See, I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm sorting them by name. So if I sort them by name, it's going to give me an alphabetical order. And I see there is no F-35 in here. That's what I'm hunting for. So I'm looking, and you notice how I have two different windows because it's easier to drag and drop files. So I take it, and I just drag and drop it, and it's going to move it, and there's the livery. So now that I have the livery in there, I can go ahead, I know it's in there, and I know it's in my community folder, and when I open it, I see it has sim objects layout, so I know that that's the actual file. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we're just going to wait while it loads. And so maybe now I can fill in some of the blanks because I'm talking so fast because I'm trying to make up for some time here to describe some things. So again, I repeat that when you download the files from flightsim.to, they are in a compressed format. You have to decompress them. You need a tool to decompress it. Don't just drop the zip file into your community folder. You have to decompress the zip file, the seven zip file, and then in mine, I put a readme description when you double click on the file when it decompresses, there is an actual file inside the file, and you'll see because there'll be a readme underneath the folder, and then I actually call the aircraft skin a different name, and it's all in the readme description in my skins and you take that actual file and drop it in your community folder. So if you're having problems downloading some of my skins um, and installing them in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, um, please let me know. But again, I'm going to repeat it again. After you extract the archive, the file from the zip file, you want to open the folder that you extracted and inside that folder there's going to be the actual skin and it says that in the readme files so you want to drag that and drop it into your Microsoft community folder um, because if you put the wrong folder in there eh, the simulator won't read it and you won't get the aircraft so sorry if I've confused anyone with the way I do it um, it's just kind of a common way. Um, you know, I like to put my README files outside of the actual project. Um, just kind of old school. It's the way I like to do it. Um, 
So I hope that this clears anything up because you're going to see that once Microsoft Flight Simulator loads, as we're waiting for it to load, we're going to go into my hangar and we are going to go to the F-35B. My hangar, oh, there's the Skymaster, love the Skymaster. And we're going to scroll through all the aircraft until we find the F-35B. There it is. Click on Lockheed Martin F-35B, and sometimes you have to wait as it just got the skin in and the game may be trying to catalog it. And so here we go. And there is the pink menace livery right there. You see Pinkie Pie in the shield, the pony shield behind her. So we click on that, and voila! There is the F-35B, Pink Menace, all ready to be flown in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the skies.